Hi everyone, it's Brigitta from Aqua Arcana. So today we're doing an interesting reading. I have a lot of you guys who are coming to me for personal readings, um, asking about your future partner. And I'm talking about someone you will be with for a long time. It's not a next fling, not next kind of, I don't know, uh, summer romance. So we're going to do that. Now, what I want you to do uh, I will have a thumbnail on YouTube showing the piles and I really like those kind of thumbnails because the moment you look at it, you should already know which one is drawing you in. And it kind of not only challenges your intuition but also the imagination because I try to make them very mysterious and kind of vibe with your vibration at that time too. Now I'm going to include this. Um, in the video as well so you can properly look at it um, I would though prefer if you have chosen from thumbnail already but if you change your mind uh, be free to do so or maybe listen to both of them whatever you feel like your intuition is telling you to do okay so here it is I'm gonna show you pile number one pile number two pile number three from thumbnail thumbnail okay take a look at it So guys, whoever has chosen pile number one, okay, we're going to look at the future partner. Who is the one, okay? That's the question that I'm asking today. And let's see what kind of traits I'm gonna get from them. This is someone you're going to be with for a really, really long time. And please do not uh, take messages from your ego, meaning that uh, do not try to push these messages to someone you are drawn to right now, someone you are interested in right now. Uh, try to keep an open mind because you really don't know who is going to come towards you in the future. And the first card flip, and we have the chariot. Just give me a minute here. I'll show you cards as we go. Okay. So you've got chariot, you've got the hangman, and cars are going crazy, crazy, okay? Wow, okay, give me a second here. <laughs> I need to put them all back in a deck. Half of it is on my desk. Right. Wow, okay. King of swords. And I'm also going to use my intuitive deck to you. Eight of Swords, Queen of Wands, and Three of Pentacles. Okay, now let's take the intuitive. Whoever does know, I read from Abstract Art. Uh, let's see. Okay, wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, guys. Let's start off with the intuitive deck. Don't mind my hair, just washed my hair, didn't even brush it. Um, I was so keen on doing this video for you ASAP. So, first intuitive card is telling me that this is someone you will feel amazingly sexually attracted to. And that's right, logical, right? That's someone you have to be attracted to. But it's really, really exaggerated here because the next card I've got, it tells me, it gives it like a boost to the sexual pull, okay? So two cards talking about you guys being very, very sexually attracted to one another. Now, it's being followed by this card here, which tells me this is someone who will have a lot of ideas. I'm sensing a creative soul over here. And it's not necessary that they will work in that field because with the King of Swords that we have here, I see that this is someone who will work in some sort of logical, logical type of work. So whatever they would do, they would have to use their logical side of mind. This would be something to do with counting something to do with uh, managing, uh, something to do with calculating things, measuring things, uh, planning things out for the future. Uh, this is literally someone who would be um, typing and writing things down, you know, that type of a vibe here. Uh, now, 
it's I'm just gonna give you signs too um, I see a ship I see a globe I see a very interesting building over here uh, this is something but it's more to do with the buildings interior though it's something to do with um, interior space that has um, turquoise in it so it's a turquoise color and tiles that I'm seeing okay so this is just a clue for you guys um, and I don't know how exactly that will resonate with you now another thing that I'm seeing someone who likes or used to like or is interested in uh, horse riding or you know when people bet um, on horse riding it's something to do with that okay uh, another thing that I'm seeing here barrels uh, so bear lover uh, someone maybe who has their business um, that's very interesting maybe their business is to do with um, planning out how to sell some sort of liquid maybe alcohol maybe wine maybe beer so maybe the important things not necessarily liquids um beverages but it's also something to do with trading as well okay um another thing here someone who likes speed so this is someone who might be into racing, might be into cars, into motorbikes, uh, a cyclist. Um, someone, I don't know why I'm getting this, who maybe lives in a country where weather is not the best. Uh, I see um, dark skies, you know, so maybe they live in a country where it rains a lot, it snows. Uh, I, I do not see a lot of sunshine wherever they are at or they will be once you will meet guys okay so because we have chariot here what I'm seeing you might meet them when you will be somewhere traveling or passing by um, you will not be in the place you are right now okay so it might just be you go and let's say even grocery shopping and you meet them there and it starts um, with a really nice conversation or like something innocent like hey do you know do you know how I can get to a certain place and um, you will take it from there but it's something to do with movement guys now someone who likes to wear hats or it's going to be something of a um, religious thing okay so they would have to wear something that's part of their religion or their religion will be something that they will um, go by okay um, another thing here that I'm getting this is going to be someone who is a little bit older and wiser than than you will be at that time when you will meet someone I see also an architect or an interior designer someone who works in the team and why I'm saying that is because I have this three of Pentacles okay and in my deck it's very straightforward um, if you pair it up with the King of Swords, uh, these two guys look very similar. They're very wise, they're very concentrated, and they are someone who needs um, to lead their team. Does it make sense? Um, now, another thing that I'm seeing here, their views on in life will be very different from whoever you've met. Um, this is someone who will be doing things led by their passions okay and i'm saying that is because we've got the queen of wands and we have the hangman hangman is there to show us that this is someone who has chosen to put themselves upside down right in order to see the world from a different perspective and the queen of wands is someone who doesn't do the who doesn't work in a job or doesn't lead her life um a boring life so this is someone who will have uh, I feel like their hobbies will be really interesting for you too now I'm getting another storyline here where there is someone who is um, who will be stuck for a while in the same place uh, and the moment they will start moving uh, that's when everything will start falling into places okay 
so i'm saying that because we have eight of swords and a chariot which are two very opposing energies here right um now the eight of swords is telling me that this person might have been stuck in a situation where it wasn't good for them and in some cases they might have been stuck in one location in one job something about that that didn't serve them anymore and this would have been something that was really difficult for them to come out of okay in some cases it's even relationship with a fire sign that i'm seeing here okay and it kept them stuck for for a long time now another thing from intuitive that i'm seeing here there is a possibility you will have a child with this person and this child will be really creative this is going to be that type of a child that uh, it differs from everyone else. So sometimes you might think that um, this child is talking weird things, but really is how how they view the world. Okay, their imagination is going to be something that will differ them from everyone else around them. Okay. And they will be wiser beyond their years too. Uh, another thing here, well, this is my soul, soul, soul connection, okay, that I'm talking about from the intuitive. So obviously, this is going to be someone you have known in a past life, okay? Let's uh, pull some more cards from the Goddess Tarot. And let's see what else it's going to show us regarding this person. And I just heard this person will have been in a really serious relationship. Uh, so some of them might have been divorced. Some of them will be coming out of a serious relationship. Okay. We've got the Knight of Wands, Four of Swords, Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, knight of pentacles and the hangman again but just from a different deck so again um now do not be surprised if this person will take some time to come into your life okay this might be a little bit of a wait that i'm seeing here it might be a delay with the hangman you will have to kind of live your life to the to the fullest in order to meet this person because they will be doing the same they will be trying to change from the person they used to be they will be trying to um explore new things um and we have this card here which again is talking about them taking their time okay uh so tarot saying take a chill pill and just enjoy things that you want to do with this card because this card for me is such a passionate card okay it's like i don't care i'm going places i want to visit um i'm gonna do things that i'm um i'm passionate about but also what i'm getting here is um, you guys might like to write things down what kind of person you want what kind of uh, partner you want in your life and this is a good thing okay because it's going to help out um, for universe kind of attract them a bit quicker than it would have been before you started writing things down okay because you will be listening to your intuition uh, what it is that I have to do in order for this person to come in my life, okay? Some of you have to go on the beach and spend some time by the water, but especially nighttime uh, to kind of get that. But it's something to do with the moon here, guys. You have to kind of get charged by the moon energy, okay? That's really interesting. Let's pull more cards from intuitive and see what else is coming through here. This person will be older than you, okay? And I do not see like two years older, I see more than that. Okay. Yeah, free spirit is coming through here. And again, sex vibe is coming through here a lot. Um, yeah, water is coming through. So I said before, these two cards both talk about uh, water energy, okay? So this is something that's going to be influential. Um, I literally see very, very beautiful surroundings wherever you will be at, wherever this person will be at once they start moving, okay? Couple of last cards here. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. 
look at them both vibing together it just fell out of a deck you have ace of pens and the four of pentacles so here um these two cards especially in this day here is telling me that this is going to be a wise investor type of person and i was trying to kind of portray it to you previously that this person will be really thoughtful about the business that they run about workplace um I wouldn't be surprised if this person would make a uh, hundred dollars out of one dollar so that's what kind of mindset we are talking about here okay um, this person will want things to move in the way that he has or she has planned okay uh, I do not see them as a business owner in many cases, maybe for some of you, but uh, what I see here, they would work in a team and they would be someone everyone looks up to, okay? So I hope this made sense, pile number one. I think it won't right now because you don't know about this person, maybe. Uh, if you do, um, try to understand some things that I said that are not uh, vibing with you right now, meaning things that maybe you don't know about this person just yet. And um, it would be interesting to see if you have made sense to some of those messages, okay? It's a general read, so it's not going to vibe with every each of you guys. Uh, anyway, let me know in comments down below. If you knew, I'd, I would love to see you again. So subscribe and like if you liked it. See you soon. Hi guys, whoever has picked pile number two, it's your reading. So let's just give me a second here to tune into the energies. And I just heard like a young, young soul vibe, okay? So whoever this person will be, they will be really youthful and as if their soul will never get old, which is a really nice thing to have. Let's see. We have seven of swords reversed. We've got six of swords. So, so much air energy here. Page of wands. The devil. Five of swords. Look how many swords we've got here. The temperance. Let me just tune in and um, pull some cards from the intuitive. Whoever does know about this, I read from abstract art. Let's see. So whoever this person is, they are thinker, okay? They analyze things, they have to um, look back at things that they've done and they kind of like to go over their life uh, and evaluate some events as well um, that happens over time. This is going to be someone who has been cheated on in the past, okay? And who had a lot of conflict with their ex-partner uh, so do not uh, be afraid and don't take it personally if this person will be a little bit distant and closed off once you'll meet them okay yeah i said distant and you have this card here where two souls are kind of apart okay so that's what i was trying to tell you here uh, let's pull a couple of more and I'll also pull the goddess tabo okay yeah you know what I'm getting that type of person who uh, likes to go on adventures and this is really good um, with devil over here we've got someone that you will be super attracted to from the beginning but also remember the thing where i said they might have been cheated on and they were in toxic toxic relationship in the past um i'll just give you tiny clues here of things that i see and i will leave it with you i see a house uh where the entrance door is uh, white uh, with um, golden handle, golden round handle, okay? Uh, I also see um, two really tall buildings uh, that stand out from all other buildings around. So maybe that's going to indicate the location where they live in. Um, 
I see I just heard New York and I don't know why so that's gonna be very specific for some of you for others uh, take into consideration those two main buildings in a city wherever they live in um, I see a lot of uh, you know I see a city where it's a little bit dark uh, but also I see very beautiful uh, fields wherever they at uh, so maybe this is someone who likes to go and visit places in between because my six of swords is all about like fast fast movement, okay? Um, do not be surprised if at the beginning uh, There is a storyline here Once you meet this person you will have different views on life, okay? so once you will start communicating with this five of swords you will have to compromise on some things because you might be both of you trying to prove your own truths but really uh none of you is right because you are two different people and you will be seeking for temperance okay for balance and two opinions now this person will be observing you after you've met but i more so see from the distance okay so it might be social media coming through here i see a lightning bolt too uh so maybe it's going to be around a time where weather will be running wild or just before you meet them you might see um maybe storm maybe lightning bolt uh, something about that so nature will kind of give you a sign that this person is around or you have met them okay um i see a fireplace so maybe they have a fireplace in their house um it's also something about going going to a place where it has a fireplace but it's not someone else's, someone's house. It's more so, you know, when you go to a place um, to kind of rest or you travel somewhere and you see a fireplace. So for some of you, that's going to be an indication as well. Uh, third eye is coming through here. So maybe you guys um, have intuitive powers. This person will be really cautious about the relationship from the beginning i see a plane by the way for some of you someone's moving fast now again um i said will be cautious with my intuitive what it's saying here someone will have not treated this person right in their life that's why they will be a little bit distance distant um i see distance also between you two guys so wherever you live it seems like black and white uh maybe the surroundings are different okay where you two where you two are at let me pull the goddess tarot see more messages for you guys okay have ace of cups would just make sense right it's going to be a beautiful new beginning you have four of pentacles no, not four, sorry. Uh, that's Page of Pentacles. Sorry, because you don't have it written here, so I have to understand which card is which. Eight of Cups, and it just makes sense. I told you that they will have walked away and left a situation that wasn't good for them, right? Queen of Swords, a lot of sword energy here. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, amazing. Listen, this is going to be someone that people will want a piece of, okay? By that, I mean, um, this person will be a little bit mysterious in the way that they are in life. And um, a lot of people will want to find out kind of information about them, but they will not, it seems like they will not allow just anyone in their life. Uh, so they will be a little bit guarded, okay? And you do have these two beautiful new beginnings. Not only is it going to be a beautiful emotional beginning, but it's going to be something stable and grounded. But you see my pentacle here. It is a little bit kind of protected by uh, branches. So that's what kind of vibe I was getting from this person. Before they will get with you, they will have to research things about you. So they are looking deep into who they are starting relationship with um this is someone who's a bit cautious okay 
Jesus, sorry, my hair is all over. I just, I'm trying to, I didn't brush my hair, I'm sorry. I just washed it and I started the video. Now, swords, a lot of swords energy here. So this might be an air sign or this might be someone who has traits of an air sign, okay? Um, also, earth signs are coming through here quite a bit. Some fire, but not as much. Um, now, this is going to be very specific. For some of you, this person will work uh, in a field where they have to take care of others in a way. So, those people who are not as capable or they need help, this is going to be the field that they will be working in. I see them given and taken, but they're not taken as much as they are given. So, this is someone, once you kind of crack through this shell of theirs, they will be given all of them themselves to you so maybe that's why they are guarded at the beginning because this is someone when they love they love really deeply okay and they will make you feel like a queen um I feel like they might like to buy you gifts, especially something to do with outfits and dresses, okay? Um, I really see them buying you a dress. And also, uh, if you are if you are a guy asking about a girl, she will be buying you things like maybe a watch, maybe a shirt that she likes. Um, I also see a situation where you two will go to someone else's wedding, okay? I mean, I told you about this before. This person will be someone who is terrified of a heartbreak. Um, and in some case situations, I see that you will have gone through the heartbreak of someone that you will be with. And um, you might feel like I do not need anyone because this person literally like screwed me over. And um, I think I'll just sit there and think about my life, what it is that I want to do next. But once this person comes in your life, as if they will give you go hope for love again, okay? You've got the sun and you have an um, ace of cups here. You will feel really free with this person. They will not restrict you in any way. This will be like two individuals with their own baggages coming together, but not putting those baggages and burdens on one another. Trying to solve it themselves, okay? I feel like you have, some of you have children from past relationships and they will be taking care of your child like their own, okay? They will want to get to know them, so there will be no problem for those who have children. For those who do, know that this person will be really caring about your children, okay? Not only your children, but family kids as well. So maybe if you have any other youngsters around you, they will be taking them on board and it feels like they have love enough love to give for two but it's just unfortunate that they have been screwed over in the past but what is good about them that they will not be um they will not be kind of putting this on you they will have it inside of themselves when they see that they can trust you then everything will start falling into places and it's going to be better than you would have expected so a sum up of this reading is someone who is a bit insecure of someone else hurting them but um, you will be feeling once you meet them that I'm not sure because this person is a bit distant or maybe they're not showing me as much interest but it's just them thinking about things and like um, they will be evaluating the situation and the moment it seems like uh, when you kind of let that person go it's not going to be something like you met them um, two months ago and then they come back it's more so going to be like you've met them these people take a week or two to think about things and they come back to you saying hey would you like to go out so it's going to be a really short period of time when they will be actually analyzing things um, because they will understand that this is something they can't bring to their future so they cannot bring past to their future they will understand that you are different from everyone else and um 
they will be actually a bit terrified that you are someone a lot of people look up to or a lot of people want attention from so this is going to be another thing that will intimidate them okay um, because maybe they have been in similar situations before so there's a lot of vibe like they them not thinking that they um, are good enough or them not thinking that this can work out at the very beginning okay but I have beautiful cards from the intuitive deck here, okay? This will be a relationship that will last, last for a really long time, but it will not move like bang, bang, bang. You know, we get to know each other, we go on a date, and then we straight away engaged. This is will be a very kind of nice and slow process of developing this relationship, getting to know each other, going to places, okay? And I really feel like this person will want to get to know your family. Um, this is someone who will take an interest in you, in people around you, your friends and your family, but they might be a bit secret, secretive about their own family. So do not take it personally because... Um, when it comes to them, they probably will take more interest in you rather than talking about themselves. Once you crack a shell, it's gonna all open up, okay? But you will have to be patient with them opening up to you, okay? So that's what I have for pile number one. Let me know if it resonated. If you're new, join the tribe and subscribe and I'll speak to you soon. Hey guys, whoever has picked pile number three, it's your reading. I'm using the... Um, uh hoo -hoo, steampunk tarot and i'll use intuitive and goddess tarot just because i want to know as much as possible so let's see who is this person um nope not feeling it yet give me a second guys okay right we have five of swords reversed devil reversed strength strength upright that's good. Queen of Pens. Judgment. Nine of Swords reversed. And we're going to use the intuitive. By the way, whoever does know, I read from abstract art if you are new. Okay, okay, got that. Now let's pull the goddess tarot as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck. Right, sorry about the plane. Oh, beautiful, we have a star. Three of pentacles, two of wands, wheel of fortune, Knight of Swords. Ooh, and the Empress. Okay, guys. So whoever has picked this pile, you have quite a bit of major cards that I'm being drawn to, okay? First of all, what I'm getting here is... Um, this is... We have Devil and Five of Swords reversed. This is talking about their past, okay? This is someone that has been manipulated um by someone in the past but it's more so like sexually manipulated okay so maybe someone was trying to keep them in relationship um using sex and this is really strange okay so maybe some of you will vibe with this if you think that you know them already um this is someone who has been or in really serious commitment and i'm not talking about a year or two um i'd say from four years and more uh some of them might have actually been married okay um i see that whatever the whatever the relationship they were in they it seems like they were too tired to be strong for both people in relationship so someone wasn't given enough of effort but whoever they are they are kind of nurturer so i'm getting a sense of a healer type here even though some of them don't know about this because my strength is lady uh, healing trying to kind of um take care of the um 
paw of a lion okay the paw is bleeding here so that's what i'm getting here this person will be able to heal with their energies okay now we have nine of swords reversed again it's talking about their past so whatever happened in the past might still haunt them but um in this situation what i'm hearing is they might have lost someone in their lives okay that was really close to them and it's it's more so like um very close grandma or even mom in some cases okay and that's gonna be for just couple of you guys um whoever this person is they have really nice features facial features really really kind of you know when you look at them and and you go oh this is a really nice and genuine person uh, they have really bright face and um it seems like they are someone who thinks about the future more so than the past which is a really good thing and i'm saying that because we've got this beautiful card two of wands here okay all they're thinking about is the future all they care about is a good future and right below it we've got the uh, empress okay uh, some of them will really want children and you will have them because i have intuitive deck that's indicating a newborn um even if let's say you are not capable of having kids uh in very rare cases here uh they might have a child maybe from their past relationship but i do not see it for a majority of you guys i see an actual newborn that you will be both taking care of i see a writer i see someone who is um some kind of crafts something to do with crafting things okay i don't know why now someone who is working in a team or will be working in a team okay um someone who likes to have candles in their house uh someone who has a beautiful house because we've got this intuitive deck uh you will want to live in the house that they live in okay and i was picking that up um like that moment of be coming out of a beautiful house with this two of wands that we have here now another thing here is they will like forest and maybe in some cases they have a pet and it might be a dog or a rabbit okay um another thing here what i'm getting this is someone who is of a creative mind who is um, also in some cases who speaks their mind and it makes money for them. So just uh, take it as it resonates, okay? I see quite a lot of books and speak in their mind. And right above it, we've got this uh, three of pentacles. So something to do with the work where they have to speak, um, they have to talk and people listen to them, okay? And they have a team uh, that is working with them. They are someone who is uh, lucky in life, whatever they will decide to do. And it's because uh, their intuition will be leading them places, okay? It's like that star is shining them the way, showing them the way. And once they listen to it, <clears throat> they have good karma coming back to them, okay? Now, this is someone who might be in musical field, something to do with music. Um, again, speaking is coming through here a lot. Look at this judgment of mine, okay? It's like <clears throat> whatever sound is coming coming through, whatever sound that this angel is making is drawing people in, okay? Um, I feel like it's a lot of things are coming through regarding their home. Um, they like things to be particular in their household, okay? Um... This is going to be a really strong connection because we've got the infinity over here okay number eight might be significant regarding this person let me pull a couple of more cards because i'm interested in who this is it feels like they're a little bit mysterious even though they're doing some kind of work that they can be um seen by a lot of others but it's like they're keeping their business to themselves. Whatever is happening at home, they're not showing it to the world. Hmm. We've got lovers. Seven of cups. 
Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Cups, Six of Pens, and Justice. For some of you, this person will be working in legal field of some sorts, okay? Making sure that things are being um, taken care of uh, smoothly, making sure that things that be the decisions that people are making are fair okay this is a very loving soul even though it might not seem like from the very beginning stages you have the queen of cups here pay attention to that window for me it reminds me of uh, ships or cruises of some sorts um and also the design of it and you know you can get mirrors like that in your household in your home uh, so I feel like that might be a sign for a couple of you. They will have some sort of an object that re reminds you of this card here. Um, I see wherever they live, there is a beautiful castle that people take pictures of. But this is not something that is very very pot popular on social media i see like a smaller town of some sorts uh wherever they are at but that castle is very important for locals or some kind of building that's very important okay and i'm saying that because i'm just picking this up from the seven of cubs here you see that one in the corner over here so that's what i'm talking about so if you know about this place uh that person is from there okay um i just heard street lights i don't know why you might meet in the evening maybe uh you might go on dates but uh, those dates remind me of vibe of new york um winter time okay i don't know why uh now what else um this person will be able to take care of you financially. Um, you will not have to even work in some cases, okay? Wherever this person is, it's a really beautiful place. Um, I see like a town with those monumental buildings are coming through here quite a bit and the pets. So now we have those two beautiful dogs there, you see? And also this card is talking about family that is, um, secure financially okay and again i was talking about kids here and you have a child over there in this uh, ten of pence so it's like the full really good family vibe equal give and take okay you will not have any problems of them not giving you as much as you are it's a really nice vibe regarding this person they will be tough though okay so if you will start um let's say being unfair to them they will make sure that everything is sorted properly okay it's something like um don't play games with me so once you meet this person do not play those childish games where you would wait for a day or so to reply to their message they will want things to be straightforward because they don't have time for games they will be someone who is mature and they will not want they will want things to be spoken okay they will want communication right away to see if you can be a potentially good team together in the future all right so they will not like to wait around for too long because they won't have time for it and patience so once you'll meet this person remember that this is someone who is not a player this is someone who is a good husband and wife material okay they will want to make you feel like you've got everything in life and once you start playing games they will go like you know what you can go by yourself until you sort your things out because this relationship is not about that this is us helping each other out in difficult moments as i said before healing the poor of a lion right so once the lion the strong the one who is a bit stronger in the relationship goes down and they don't feel um as powerful then someone else would step in and heal them okay this is a really nice connection that i'm getting here you might guys uh, be from different cultures i'm getting that with the lovers um it's because you two if you can see next to the woman we have a tree next to a man we have city vibes okay so you might be from two places that are a bit different that's what i'm getting here 
you will live in beautiful home I said that like million times already which is a really really good thing they might like to collect books or collect something in general because I really see them stacking things up in their house um, again children coming through here quite strongly um, Whoever has picked pile number three, I'm sorry, I just have to say that. I sense that you are really handsome or beautiful. And I'm not trying to compliment you, but this is coming through quite a bit. And I was like, at first, I don't want to say it. Um, but I have to because of the cards that I'm seeing here. The way you style your head, the way you uh, do your eyes, in some cases, if you are a guy asking, your eyes are beautiful okay uh, your hair is uh, voluminous uh, it's something about that that I'm getting and you have full lips which is really nice and it's gonna be if you, even if you don't take other me messages that I just told you this person will be very attracted to that okay so it's going to be one feature that will attract them to you loads and they will be like damn i can't let this person go okay i'm very interested in them not only because of face facial features because of the attraction you will have together guys okay this is someone who's like having sent to you at a time when you will feel like uh, maybe a little bit down or at a time when you will have lost hope in finding new love so let's say if you were in relationship before where you really loved someone and you've lost them this person will be having sent to you because of this intuitive card okay and again i have another card indicating that um yeah so that's what i have for you pal number three if you vibe with my reading subscribe if you are a subscriber nice to see you let me know how this resonated and i'll speak to you soon bye for now